I'm a fire in ma. Hello internet viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. When we last left off, we were just taking out a whole bunch of enemies around here, including some new Pegasus fans. We're going to be facing a lot of them from here on out. Off camera, I managed to revive Henri. And let's see what we got to go with next. Traitor! You've betrayed Lord Kane. I owe no allegiance to you or him, foul fiend that he is. You are only a mercenary. You do what we pay you to do. Here, I return your gold. I shall no longer follow your orders, Toad. If you are not with us, then you are against us. I will have the pleasure of killing you myself. Vile fiend! Ah! <laughs> Thus fall all who dare to oppose the will of Dark Soul. Well, that was interesting. Come up sequence initiated. Okay, so as you may have noticed, this and this. Both new units. With this one being the leader. Silver Knights are stronger than regular Knights. Not quite as strong as Pegasus, I don't think. But still, a decent foe. Can't be taken too lightly. Got more arches down there. But we also have him. Or rather, it. This is the laser eye that they just excavated. 30 HP, 14 in attack, 19 defense, 0 move. That's noteworthy. And agility 27, that means this thing will always go first. Start of the round, this thing goes off. Now you saw the warm-up sequence, it started counting down. 10, 9. Every turn, it'll do 2 more. And when it hits 0, it fires. And it fires a great big beam that goes all the way across the map and hits everyone. It doesn't attack a single person. It doesn't attack just my units. It attacks everyone. Which means, technically, I could sit back and let it destroy all the enemies there and clear the path for me. On the other hand, I really need the experience. So I need to be getting up here and drawing these guys away. Or at least getting in the finishing blow. Two points on May. Wow. I had almost forgotten actually how strong Lizardmen were. Alright. Wow, Amon is real slow. Here we go. Of course, she is falling behind in levels, so... Can't really fault her for that. Oh, here we go again. Top of the round. Eight. Seven. Ooh, nice hit. Very nice indeed. Get Andre some experience. Deadly attack. Not that it was required. Hmm. What's your experience at anyway? Ooh, so close. 90. Oh. 
One thing I should mention. I was wrong about the archers. In this version of the game, they do not insta-kill anyone. And in the Game Boy Advance version of the game, they can insta-kill everyone. Basically, it's like a high crit. And it is so annoying. Imagine going through combat, and having your hero be right next to one of these archers, and they just instantly kill him, ending the combat. You have to start all over again. Very annoying. But on the plus side, that means I can use my bird people to trap these archers. Hopefully get them by themselves. Targeting activated. Which one of you is stronger? Twenty-one sixteen, twenty-four twelve. You have the higher attack and the lower defense. That's better. You're not flying, so it'll be easier to hit you. Only complication here is the priest. Uh oh. I'm kind of hoping Balbury would get to it first. It's only six points. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Like this. Eh, still not as bad. Alright. Um. Actually. Focus fire. Let's take out this lizard man. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Did you have to block his route? Oh, that is not fair at all. Give him a chance to move. <sighs> this is why I was hoping Valbury would move a little sooner. He didn't already move, did he? What's his agility at? 13. 12. You really should have moved by now. Finally. Now you have to retreat. Because you need to heal. Yeah, you better use a healing seed. Just in case. You need a full heal. And the turn order has been kinda wacky. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Alright then. Dark Priest it is. Priest, heal thyself. I'm probably gonna regret this. I instantly regret this. one of the other two don't crit or double hit, that's a plus. That is a definite gain. Now oh, the Lizard Man should not attack him on. Not so that I'm going to be keeping him there. Amon gets one more turn out of this to gain some more experience. But 
I think I'm going to have her attack the priest. Get him out of the way, get her some more experience points. There we go. So far so good. Huh. And I managed to draw a Pegasus Knight into the line of fire. Excellent. Remember, no point in casting level 2. It's just as strong, but hits multiple opponents. Ooh. Level up, speed 1, hit points 1. Ugh. Why can't you ever increase something that is required? I mean, sure, speed is nice, but I need attack, defense, magic points, hit points. And you... I mean, you don't have to give them to me every level up. Once in a while would be nice. Oh boy. On its next turn, it, it is going to fire. I need to get people into safety now. <sighs> you're not going to make it to safety, you're going to die. Great. So, deal as much damage as you can. Of course, Henri's going to die. Why not? Let's get the bird people up here out of the way. Oh, that lunar dude's going to be the death of me at one point. I just know it. You're welcome to join me. Playing and killing Henry before the laser I can? Well, you're about to. Why not? Hmm. Laser I gets to do the job. Up here. Is there man still isn't moving? Chris doesn't get to go into safety either. Well then. Kill herself. <sighs> okay. Well, let's continue on. Hopefully, we can avoid future attacks like that. I'm noticing a trend here. Pretty much every fight, Henri dies. Hmm. This is 
not looking good. You guys are a lot stronger. Yay! Level up. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. A decent level up. Attack increase, defense increase, even still got the speed increase. My game is lagging for whatever reason. Very odd. Uh, as much as I want Chris to heal herself, this is far more important. Why do you always crit when they have so little health left? Makes no sense. Come on, when's it gonna be Chris's turn? I need to heal Bolt. Those archers are still rather tough, too. I think, in terms of monster level, we may have hit the balancing point. Which means it's just going to get tough from here until I finally promote my troops. Then they're going to start leveling up quickly again, and gaining stats quickly. And the sequence begins again. You know what that means, don't you? Each one of these rounds where all these units move and attack each other and cast spells, all happens two seconds at a time. Considering all the movement they're doing, it's actually kind of realistic. Huh. Alright, well, I'm starting to go over my time again, so I'm going to end this off here, and we'll pick up the next half of the battle in the next episode. See you then.